This is Play Night in all of its glory. Well, this is just one of the many themes in Play Night. I am using Anarchy Remake, which stylized Play Night to look super cool. It has trailers, there's how long to beat data, achievements data, and a whole bunch more. Play Night combines all of your clients into one nice front end, and that includes emulation as well. You can have Steam, Xbox, Epic, GOG, or whatever you want, plus GameCube games, Game Boy games, PlayStation 2, and so on. It is the best all-in-one front end available to launch your games from on Windows. Just click the game, launch it, play it a bit, and when you're done, you'll be right back into Play Night. Super easy. You can also shut down from the menu, restart, and so on. There's a whole bunch of options. Play Night also has a ton of plugins to customize things as needed. I'll be showing you a few of them today, like integrating how long to beat stats or achievement information, but there's a whole bunch more and there's a whole bunch of different themes if you happen to not like the one that I'm showing today and you can keep going, but you'll love it. It is an awesome front end. Let's talk about how to make your Windows gaming experience a whole lot better and more console-like. Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're gonna be installing Play Night on a Windows device so you can get the best front end available to you for Windows gaming. So that's exactly what today's guide will be. I'll show you how to set up everything to look like how I have it in Play Night, have your device boot right into it when you start your PC, if you want that, and so you can have that true console-like experience on a Windows PC or a handheld, and you can never complain again about Windows gaming. Okay, so let's start off by downloading Play Night, which you can grab right off of their website. Open the EXE, and you have an option here of making it portable, which is actually what I do. You may want to move this to another PC one day, or maybe it's another handheld that you might get, and you want to move it over there. All that sort of thing, so it's a lot easier to have it as a portable folder that you can just copy and paste over to a new device. So, check that box, and then, just navigate to where you want to set this up. I put mine right on the C drive, just it makes a Play Night folder for me, so it's right there and easy. Go ahead and click install, and then it's going to take some time to download and install everything. At this point, we can now go through setup, and it's going to ask you what libraries to integrate. Basically, where are your games located? So feel free to check any and all clients and stores that you have installed on your PC. For a lot of you, that might just be Steam, but maybe you have some Battle.net games or GOG or whatever it is. You'll now need to go through each of the ones that you selected and log in and authenticate yourself so that it can connect to those launchers and import your games. Now, I don't usually check import not installed games as I really don't want to see games that I don't have installed. But if you want to see your entire libraries across all devices, then feel free to check that. It is a personal preference thing. This is going to take a bunch of time, signing in, 2FA, and all of that fun stuff, depending on how many stores you have. But you'll finally get to configuration finished, and then just click finish. You're now going to see all of your games start to populate on the left hand side. And if you click the grid icon, you can see them in a grid, which is actually a bit nicer, as you can see all of the covers start to download too. Now you can check on the progress at the top, there's a nice little bar, tells you what it's doing. So let's take a tour while it's downloading all of these things. Now at the top, there is a search bar and a search window. Next to that is filter presets, which we'll talk about in depth later on. You can filter by groups if the data exists and so on. Then we get to the details view, there's a grid view or a list view. There's an explorer panel that opens up on the left for easier filtering. And then there's a filter panel that opens up on the right which we'll talk about later. Now, the view that we are in right now is called Play Night Desktop, but the view that I showed you earlier is called Play Night Full Screen. If you click the controller icon in the top left and switch to full screen mode, this is the default full screen Play Night experience with their default theme. It is actually pretty good, it's not bad. There's a lot that you can see already. There's covers, there's details, search, 
filter, and so on, and all of this is easily navigable with a controller. We can launch directly into full screen mode, which I'll show you later, but for now, we have a lot of things we need to do on the desktop side to get all set up. If you push start or select on your controller, if you have one connected or just use your mouse, you can head up to the play night window and then head back to desktop. Let's take a quick tour of the options. So let's say that you have a game or games that are not on a store. Head to the play night controller top left, add games, then scan automatically. You can click scan folder and select the game folder, then just put a check mark next to the EXE that launches that game and click add game to add it. If you head to library integrations, you can see the screens that we did during setup in case you want to change anything. Library configure emulators though, is where we can go to set up adding emulated games. So let's say that I have some emulators installed, click import on the bottom left. And I want to add those to Play Night so that Play Night knows where they are. I actually have all of my emulators nicely in an emulation folder, so it's an easy one click import for myself, but otherwise you can just do this separately and import each folder separately, and it might just take you a little bit longer. It'll take some time to scan whatever folder you selected, and then it'll discover any emulators that you have there, so you can just click import. You should now see them on the left side and just click save at the bottom. So as of right now, all we did was tell Play Night where our emulators are. And now we have to tell Play Night where our games are so it can match the games to those emulators. Head back to add games and then click emulated games. Now click add scanner. I'm going to do Wii U, which is CMU. So scan with CMU and default profile. And then this will import them as Wii U games. But if you wanna be double sure, you can choose Override Platform and select Wii U. Now, Scan Folder is where your Wii U games are located, so go ahead and select that. Now, you might not have a Wii U emulator, so you can just do all of this with whatever emulator that you have and follow the same steps. Lastly, we want to save this as an auto-scan configuration, because as we add more Wii U games, or whatever emulator you're using, we want them to automatically be found and added to Play Night. We don't want to have to do that manually. So when you're done, click Start Scan, and this will take some time as it scans. When it is done scanning, you're going to see a list of your games, and you can check them if you'd like. I don't much care about region being correct, so I'm just going to click Import, but you can edit that if you want to. Now, if you change Library to Platform on the left, you can now see all of your Wii U games. Grid shows it a lot easier too. Just repeat these same steps for any other emulators that you have to get all of your emulated games in here. Now at this point, we can go ahead and install Anarchy Remake and configure it. The Anarchy Remake GitHub has a written guide with a lot more information if you ever need a reference point or to find some settings. I highly, highly recommend it. Head to Add-ons from Settings, and then under Browse, go to Themes Full Screen. These are all of the themes that are available to you for full screen mode. But for today, we want to do Anarchy Remake, since that's the one that I like. Click it and then click Install, click Save, and then Yes to restart Play Night. Now, Anarchy Remake needs a few add-ons to work properly, so head back to Add-ons, and this time go to Browse, Generic. And now you want to install the following. Theme Options, Extra Metadata Loader, Extra Metadata Loader Full Screen Helper, How Long To Beat, Success Story, and Play Night Sounds Mod. Then head to Metadata Sources and install IGN Metadata and Universal PSN Metadata. You can install them all at once and then save to restart and apply. Let's go ahead and use that new metadata. Go to Library, Download Metadata, and uncheck only missing metadata. Scroll down to covers and background image, add PSN, then move it up the priority list so it's first, then go ahead and click download metadata to start the search. Head over to settings, appearance, grid view, and change target aspect ratio to square. I know, I know you're itching right now to get back to full screen and see what it all looks like, but not yet. We need to do some more things. Let's get some logos set up. So head to Settings, Add-ons, Generic, 
extra metadata loader and then scroll to logo settings and set them to 600 for width and 320 for height. Make sure you adjust the sliders as well to those same numbers. Now on the main screen, control A to select all on your keyboard, select all your games, right click, head to extra metadata, logos, download logos from Steam, and then click yes and yes to any pop-ups. Once that's done, we want to add trailers as well, since those are pretty cool and we want to see some game trailers. Head back to settings, add-ons, generic, extra metadata loader, and go ahead and click download FFmpeg package. Then extract the zip that it comes with. Just move that folder right into your Play Night folder. Go ahead and click download YT DLP as well. And again, move that EXE into the Play Night folder. Go ahead and click the browse button next to FFmpeg and browse to that FFmpeg folder, the bin folder, and select FFmpeg. Click Browse next to FF Probe and select FF Probe in the same spot. Then click Browse on YTDLP and select the YTDLP EXE file that's in your Play Night folder. Check the box for download videos of newly added games on Library Update. Scroll down and uncheck the three boxes of Display Video Preview when video is not playing. Next, click Play Night Sounds Mod on the left. Change play sound state to never. Those beeps can get very annoying. Head to the music tab and change play music state to full screen. Otherwise, it's gonna play music in desktop mode too. And we don't really need that. Then uncheck pause music during video trailer with sound. While we're here, scroll down and you can do the same FFmpeg and YTDLP browsing that we did before to find them and select them. Now, there is one here, FFmpeg Normalized Path, and I'm going to direct you to the Anarchy Remake GitHub wiki as it involves installing Python and so on. This is optional. All it does is normalize the volume of the music. So if you want that, which I do suggest, just not putting it in today's guide, it is easy enough to do, so you can follow the steps in the GitHub on how to do so. Make sure to check automatically download music for newly added games and then click save. Okay, so same as before, control A to select all on your keyboard, right click, head over to extra metadata, videos, videos, download videos from Steam, and then yes to any pop-ups. You might get some pop-ups as it goes along to confirm the game so it knows which one it is. So just do so. Or if the game doesn't exist on Steam, you can just click cancel or exit out and it'll continue going. Then for music, control A to select all games, right click, play night sounds, download and click all. This is gonna take a bunch of time to get all of the music that you need. At this point, we can finally go see what the full screen mode looks like. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited. Head over to settings and switch to full screen mode. Head to the controller icon, settings, visuals, and change the theme to Anarchy Remake, and then back out to restart Play Night. You're now gonna see a cool sign-in screen. Push to jump in. Head over to settings, layout, and enable horizontal scrolling. Then change columns to 10 and item spacing to 30. Now, if you head into settings and then theme options and enable show background on main screen, restart Play Night and head back into full screen mode. You can actually load right into full screen by selecting the EXE that's in the Play Night folder. There's a desktop EXE and a full screen EXE, so it's easy for you to remember. You should now see backgrounds, and you can jump into the game details page with trailers playing, music should be playing, all of that. It's looking pretty good. Now, if you head into settings and then theme options, you can adjust more settings here. So maybe you don't want the sign-in page, which some people might not want it, I don't want it. You can turn that off here. Or you can customize so that an intro video plays on startup. And that's pretty cool in a lot of cases too. There is an absolute ton more that you can adjust on this page. So play around with it if you want, but for most people, the default as you have it now is good enough. So maybe just leave it alone. Now there's more we can do. Push down to see the bottom of the screen. And you can see some things here. And you might be wondering, 
How do you get it to say Steam or Nintendo Wii U or GameCube or whatever else you have? Because right now that's not really that great for filters. It's just four of them and it doesn't really tell you a whole bunch more. So let's head back to desktop mode. Enable the filter icon to show up on the right. And then you can see if we click the drop down, the filters here are the same ones that we saw in the bottom of full screen mode. So let's do one for Steam. Click Steam under Library to filter it to just those games, and then click the Save icon and call it Steam. Check the box to show in full screen mode. And now if we head back to full screen mode and we check the bottom, you're gonna see that we have a Steam filter here. And when we select it, it only shows Steam games. Now the name of the filter absolutely matters. Steam was easy, it's just called Steam. But if you head into your Play Night folder, Themes folder, Full Screen, Anarchy Remake, Icons, and then the Filter folder, you can see all of the pre-created icons that will show up on the bottom as long as your filter matches the name. So for example, you can see here that Nintendo Wii U, how it's spelt and labeled, is exactly how we have to call it in Play Night to make sure that it matches. So keep this in mind if your filters are looking a little bit weird on the full screen page, it's probably because you're not matching them up. So just repeat creating filters for any libraries or platforms or whatever you want. You can go crazy with that. To give you some idea of what that looks like, check out my list at the bottom and you can see some examples of what I did. Next up, let's talk about achievements and how long to beat data and getting them to show in full screen mode. Head over to settings, add-ons, and go into success story and enable Steam achievements or any other achievements that you want, like retro achievements. Click the question mark on the right to see how you can set up that connection, because you do have to do logins and all that sort of thing, API keys and everything to get them to show. Now, when you do set that up, you'll see them in full screen mode. So you'll see a trophy icon next to play, and you'll see all of your achievements for that game, which is pretty cool. For how long to beat data, head to settings, extensions, how long to beat, download plugin data, and now you can just click download to start it. Once that's done, you'll see that data in full screen mode. That is super cool. It's right at the bottom with all of that information that you would want from how long to beat. This is a long tutorial, I know, I know, but let's head into settings for a few last things that you should know about. Now, if this is a device like an Ally X, for example, that is always booting into games, you can launch directly into Play Night here when you start the PC, and so you can turn both of these on. But let's head down to Auto Close Clients because this is my favorite Play Night feature. Why do we want our clients to stay open after we've closed the game and you're done playing? We don't, so let's have Play Night close them for us. This is super useful. Go ahead and click Save to save everything. All right, so after all of that, you should have a setup that looks really close to mine. All your filters at the bottom, all your games with trailers and backgrounds and logos and everything just looks beautiful. Special tip for Apollo users, you can add Play Night as an application on the application screen. For command, set it to the full screen app EXE and make sure to select virtual display and then click save. Now you can boot right into Play Night from Apollo and you can get a full consoleized streaming experience. It's beautiful, I know. That is all I really have for you today. There is so much more we can talk about with Play Night and it can get very, very in depth. Some of you might think this was in depth, but no, we can go much further. But I think this guide was long enough. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk all about gaming. Support me on Patreon if you like my stuff. And hope you all have a good one.